Hi everyone, this is Matthew Kaufman with TechUrchin.com and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to change some fonts and text size. In the previous tutorial we played with uh, some color and some basic formatting and I briefly mentioned changing fonts. Here I'm going to tell you exactly how to change those fonts. So let's go ahead and set up our HTML page just the same as before. I'm going to move a little quickly through this because we've done it in the previous tutorials so I'm not going to take a lot of time to show you how to do this. Tutorial 4. Alright, and we're going to work in the body. Okay, and we're just going to set up a couple lines here. First line we're going to set up as a, kind of a a gauge so we understand um, what's going on. We're just going to say alright and this is just going to show us that this is uh, our line that's not formatted. Let's, if you save it, hop on over, give it a load, and there we have First line of text, no formatting. All right, let's go ahead and put in a, a page break so that we put this on a separate line. And we're going to throw in another line. This is our second line of text. New fonts. Now with this uh, line of text, we're going to change the font. We want something other than the, the staple Times New Roman that it's going to be shown as, as we see here. It's the same thing as what it's always been. So we're going to use the uh, the font tag as we've used before. We used it for color. We use font, color, and then we designate it a color. Here we're going to use font face. And that's going to designate the specific type of font that we're using. So let's go ahead and do something different, something that we haven't seen before, like Verdana. And as we did uh, in the with color, we do uh, put Verdana in quotes. Now, for the end tag, and make sure you save it. Hop over to your browser, give it a load, and there we have it in the Verdana tag, in the Verdana font. Okay, so let's say we want to do Comic Sans, because everybody loves to use Comic Sans. And now that Tricky thing with Comic Sans, it does end in MS. Um, it's not just Comic Sans. You might have to look up some of the font names, and uh, that might be something valuable to uh, check in and learn on. Now, notice that there is a little bit of a difference on our sizes in the text. And let's say, let's say we're doing a, another line of text. Let's say a third line. This is our third line of text new sizes make sure you put a page break in there I almost forgot to and it would make it quite muddled give that a save up and over give it a load and here we have our third line of text now let's say we want to we want to put a new size on there we want to make it kind of try to at least match the top one we're going to use the font tag again Instead of font face, we're going to use font size. And we're going to use equals. And in quotes, you're going to put a, a numerical um, figure here in order to try to match it. So let's say font size 2. And close it off. And give that a save. Hop on over. Give it a reload. And that's quite a bit smaller. So let's try font size 4. Give it a save, hop back over. And that looks about right. It looks a little bit larger than our original size. And so you can play around with these sizes for a while, try to get something that you're looking for. Let's say you're going for a title and you want it nice and big. Maybe not that big, but you can, you can make them as large as you want, as small as you want. And that can be extremely useful when you're trying to uh, change the sizes up on your 
on your fonts. Now, one thing to uh, to take note of is if you want to do a new font uh, type with a font face, and you also want to do a font size, you don't have to do separate font tags. You can just put it all under one font tag. So, like, let's go back up to our second line here, and we have font face, comic sans. Let's go ahead and make this a different size. So we're just going to put size equals, and let's make it size 5. And give that a save, hop over, give it a load, and there we have a size 5 comic sans line. And if you want to go even farther, we can even change the color. Say color equals red. And give that a save, hop over, and there we have a red comic sans size 5. And that's going to be basically it with, uh, with the font um, sizing and just the font types. Uh, you can play around with that some more, play around with different, uh, fo different font types and different font faces, different sizes, different colors. And uh, if you need to know, do a review on how to do the colors, um, you can go back to the previous tutorial and that will give you a real quick run through and you can play around with some more specific colors with the the um, hexadecimal uh, color system. And that's all I have for you in this tutorial. Come back for more.